Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about binary incrementer in digital electronics course, computer architecture course, computer organization course and computer organization and architecture course. First of all, what is binary incrementer? Binary incrementer is a digital circuit that adds one to a given binary number that is stored in the register. That means whatever the binary number that is stored in the register, for that one we have to add one. For that purpose we have to use a circuit called as 4-bit binary incrementer. Suppose I am taking A is one register. In that register, we have to store the binary number 0100. Now, we have to add 1 at the LSB of the given binary number. Then, we are getting 0101 is the result of the binary incrementer. Now, to construct the uh, binary incrementer, we have to use half adder. Half adder is a digital circuit that can take two inputs. So this is half adder circuit that can take two inputs. So A and B and can produce two outputs. One is sum output and another one is carry output. It can take two inputs and produce two outputs. One output is called as sum output and another output is called as carry output. Whatever the carry output that is generated from the given half adder, that carry input can be act as one of the input for the next higher half adder. Whatever the carry output that is generated from this half adder that can be given as one input of the next higher half adder. Whatever the carry output that is generated that can be given as one input of the next higher half adder. In this way the half adders are connected in a cascade fashion. Now how this binary incrementer operation can be performed. Now, this is the least significant half adder and this is the most significant half adder. For the least significant half adder, logic 1 can be applied as one input of the half, half adder. Okay. And another input is A0. Okay. A0 input can be applied at the X inputs of the least significant half adder and the logic 1 can be applied at the Y input of the least significant half adder. It can produce two outputs. One output is S0 and another output is uh, C0. This carry output of the least significant half adder can be given as one input of the next higher half adder. Next, this half adder can take two inputs. So, A1 input can be applied at the X input of the this half adder and another input came from the carry output of the previous half adder. It can produce two outputs. One output is S1 and another output is carry output. This carry output can be given as one of the input of the next higher half adder. This half adder can take two inputs. A2 input can be applied at the X inputs of the this half adder and a Y input can be taken from the carry output of the previous half adder. It can produce two outputs. One output is S2 and another output is 
carry output C3. This can be given as one of the input of next higher half adder. This half adder can take two inputs. One is A3 input that can be applied at the X inputs of the half adder. And another input is a Y that is given by the carry output of the previous half adder. Now it can produce two outputs. One output is sum output that is S3 and another output is carry output that is C4. So C4 is the final carry output. S3, S2, S1, S0 are the final sum outputs. Okay. So sum outputs are S3, S2, S1, S0. Final carry output is C4. Okay. Now, how this example can be worked on this 4-bit binary incrementer as circuit? Okay. So, here in the register A, we have to store the 4 bits. The 4 bits are A3, A2, a1, A0. The subscript number always uh, right from rightmost to leftmost. First starting with the A0, then A1, A2, A3. So these bits are 0, 1, 0, 0. Okay. So A3 bit value is 0. A2 bit value is 1. A1 bit value is 0. And A0 bit value is 0. Okay. So A0, A1, A2, A3 bits are applied at the X inputs of each and every half adder. Next one, logic 1 can be applied at the Y input of the least significant of adder. Okay. This is the least significant half adder. This is the most significant half adder. Now, here 0 and 1 are applied at the X and Y inputs of the least significant half adder. So, 0 plus 1, that is 1. The sum output value is 1. There is no carry is generated. Though C0 output value is 0. This 0 can be sent as the one input of the next higher half adder. So this value is 0. Now A1 value and the previous carry output value of the previous half adder applied at the X and Y inputs of the this half adder. It can produce two outputs S1 and C1. So 0 plus 0. So that is 0, S1 value is 0 and C1 value there is no carry is generated then C1 value is also 0. Next this carry output can be given as one input of the next higher half adder. Now A2 value can be applied at the X inputs of this half adder. And 0 can be applied at the Y inputs of this half adder. So, this half adder can take 1 and 0 are the inputs. So, 1 plus 0. So, that is 1. Some output value is 1. And there is no carry is generated. So, C3 output value is 0. This 0 can be sent as 1 input of the next higher half adder. So, A3 and A3 bit value is 0 and C3 bit value is 0. 0 and 0 are applied as inputs at the X and Y inputs of this half adder. This half adder can take 0 and 0 inputs. That means 0 plus 0 that produce two outputs. Some output value is 0. There is no carry is generated. Therefore, C4 output value is also 0. So, final output is nothing but, so, sum outputs starting with the S0 and ending with the S3. S3 value is 0, 
and S2 value is 1 and S1 value is 0 and S0 value is 1. 1. What is the equivalent decimal value? So, equivalent decimal value is 5. Its binary form is 0, 1, 0, 1. So, we are taking the decimal equivalent value 4 in register A. The binary incrementer adds 1 to a given binary number that is stored in the register A. Then we are getting the value 0, 1, 0, 1. The decimal equivalent of 0, 1, 0, 1 is 5. We are taking 0, 1, 1, 0. It is stored in register A. The binary incrementer adds 1. Then it produces 0, 1, 1, 1. Okay. The binary, the decimal equivalent of 0, 1, 1, 0 is a 6. After adding 1 to the binary value stored in register, then it can produce 7, 0, 1, 1, 1. Okay. In this way, the 4-bit binary incrementer works. Okay. Suppose uh, register A stored the binary value 1, 1, 1. Okay. The binary incrementer adds 1 to a given binary number stored in the register A. Okay. So, at that time, what is the result we are getting? That result is 1, 4 zeros. So, here, this 1 is stored in C4. Carry output bit value C4. And uh, 0, 0, 0, 0 are stored in so, S3, S2, S1, S0. Okay. So, the carry output C4 value is equal to 1 whenever the binary value that is stored in the register is 1, 1, 1, 1. Otherwise, C4 bit value is a 0. So, this is the description about uh, 4 bit binary incrementer. Okay. The sum output is always stored in the bits S3, S2, S1, S0. Okay. And uh, if the C4 bit value is 0, we have to ignore the C4 bit value in the uh, result. Okay. If C4 bit value is 1, we have to ignore, we have to consider in the uh, result bit. So, therefore, the result is C4, S3, S2, S1, S0. The result is C4, S3, S2, S1, S0. If C4 bit value is 0, we have to ignore it. If C4 bit value is 1, we have to consider in the result. Okay. So, this is the description about 4-bit binary incrementer. I hope all of you understanding this video. If you really understanding this video, please click on the like button and uh, share this video to your friends and classmates. If you have any doubts, please put your doubts in the comment section. I will try to clarify your doubts. If you really like this video, please subscribe my YouTube channel. So, Divella Srinivasara. After subscribing my YouTube channel, click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my YouTube channel. For better understanding of digital electronics course and computer organization and architecture course, go to this channel and go to the playlist called Computer Organization or a Computer Architecture. Next, to learn the Digital Electronics course, go to this channel, go to the playlist called Digital Electronics. Thank you. Thank you one and all for watching this video.